Hey, I got it. Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. something out of this. I'm just gonna grab some shots.
Leute. I got a use for you. Looking kind of pale. Not feeling great. I'm just giving me hell right now. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was. Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, think. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I've pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> So, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm it's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the weather's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean to stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Oh, look at you, being all politically correct. 
don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring them here. Oh, <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. No, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're going to smoke later? No, but this is the one we're going to drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're going to be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. What, you, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before... Yeah, anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Oh, shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but... Fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother. Just going stir crazy up here, you know? Don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, out. Thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Yes.
Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught. <laughs> She taught me how to make this sap for Burns and, uh... Look, I got out today, okay? I actually had to look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed them as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Yes, Deacon. Deke. Manny? You looking for something? <laughs> she don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. Okay, man. Hey, isn't there a manual for this? Later, man. Yeah. Good to How's see you, Deke. Hey, Damon. How's life? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. What? Not enough credits? Thanks, Deacon. That's all I got. Deke. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by it. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of him. Hey, Deke. Yes. How's the life in the shit? Jazzy, how's it going? Deke. Hey, Deke, how's it going? Hey, Damon, how's the gun trade going? Let me get the gate.
awake. Boozer. Yeah, Dave. I'm just feeling a little happy. Look, I'm on my way up to Separation Meadow. Cope says there's a ripper camp up there. Rippers? This far north? Yeah, Boozer. What the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the rippers were looking for us. We had a price in their head. Possible. I mean, sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not that I remember. Men, the last. Oh, God. Peeking out. Hurt my brother, you know that. Let him hurt you. Nope, it's done. The rivers up here won't bother anyone ever again. Oh, St. John, that's good news. I talked to Manny the other day, some of the others. I know you've been doing things for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Mark Copeland out.
think they were up here looking for us? I don't know, Boozman. I was too busy stopping them from cutting my eyes out to ask. Sorry, brother. I wish I'd been there. Sure, man. Yeah, I know. Deacon out. Finally. Lisa, 
I'm coming for you. This way. She's got to be this way. Up here. They dragged her up here. This has got to be out there. Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, shut up, shut up! Shut up. It's, it's me, it's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right, that's all right. Come on. You okay? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go.
safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Come back. Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh, yeah. That. Uh, listen. That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I've got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. You've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. I'm Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. It's like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. you got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. Can you just, mm -hmm. just take her? Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? 
Ready? I really appreciate it. Deacon, let him in. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's. Good to see yeah, you, Deke. You know. Damon. I thought maybe the nice. Picked over. Anything else I can get for you? Now that's what I'm talking about. Come by any time. I'll be seeing you. Yo, Deke, good to see you. Camper's life, hey, Manny. Yep, always needing fuel. Drifter life. Stone cold. And you just shrugged it off. No, no, I'll keep an eye out for more shit. See you around, man. We don't have the tools. Hey, DJ. No, Tuck. No, the the uh, Rippers cut her up pretty bad, and she, uh, she didn't make it. God damn it. We needed her. Now the digging's going to get even further behind. Well, look on the bright side, Tuck. One less mouth to feed, yeah. You get out there and find me some more bodies, or there won't be any mouths left to feed. Tuck her out. <laughs> You got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. I mean, they're on me. Sugar? Is there what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Closer, it's me. You stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm come down. any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! God. God. Oh, my God. God. Oh, no, I will not! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? 
I heard I heard him. I heard voices. Oh, shit. I mean, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You got no, blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm... we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. Damn it, I don't need help. <sighs> Sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I, I mean, no, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. I mean, it was it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... I don't, I, yeah, now come on, come on. Get on, we gotta go. Wait, 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 what? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Here, okay. Where? going. Deke, you remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah. I remember. The highways were, they were all choked up with cars. There were so many people, all on the move, thinking that they, if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking and then running, it was too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. You see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... But do you know why we keep going? No. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figured you'd get all prettied up before heading in. Well, you know, 
Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 I'm just, just sick of it. Yeah. No, I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. I'm Mike said. He'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freak or wonders oh, yeah, 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 I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah? Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Iron Mike, schizo, son of a bitch. What the? Something's out here. Anything? Saw someone out there. Rick? Someone's here. Hey. It was a rock. Someone's here. Anything? Who is that? Here, what'd you find? What the? Someone's throwing rocks? Something's out Something's here. wrong. You see anything? Hey, what's up? There it 
is. I just gotta find a way inside. Not so hard. Well, they're not here. But you can go in and see for yourself. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh, I don't want any trouble. So if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, my way what, the what the hell are you doing in my no, infirmary? Uh. Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, wait. There's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> What are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. in my classroom. So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, you going to take me to see her? No. God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rogue camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. What? What? What was Schizo thinking sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. Look, she'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. Tumalo? Yeah. That's good. Tumalo to Toss Lake? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. How, how you doing there? Those are you doing uh, all right? PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. Let's go. <laughs> need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. 
Yeah, from Zerviki. Wait, where, where are we going? Addy said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. Do not say... Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? He said... That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addy, look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Iron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Well, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky, he just, he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't gonna honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. Uh, he sees more than you think. What was I doing? You've I always had your good it. side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. <laughs> you want another Thanks for the vote of confidence. I was doing it, you know, with uh, John. Yeah, I was an escort. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not a cripple. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it! Don't call me that! I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he... You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one know. that brought me the... I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, no, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. Whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't don't you. start with me.
So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. Rick, you told me you, you stopped running for Tucker. Sent that little oh, girl here so instead. You're hooked up with I'm sorry I lied to you go before go about doing life. runs for Tucker. How long you been drifting, you and Bill? I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. You folks don't put down some roots. Figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here until he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time to move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. I gotta ask you, I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and, uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bill. Uh, I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? Hey, Deke, be safe. Got good shit in stock today. How's it going, Buzz? <laughs> Come back if you remember what you want. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Anything. 